Hello and welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Charlie Mulgrew. <laughs> One thing we owe Owen Coyle is for bringing in a couple of bits of quality to the club. And one of those shining elements is that of Captain Charlie Mulgrew. What an inspiration he has been since he arrived from Celtic, especially under the management of current gaffer Tony Mowbray. This season, Mulgrew has had a huge addition to the club's success, mainly due to his leadership on and off the football pitch. The skipper may have racked up a few goals this season, I think 14 is the tally, but his organisation skills this season have been immense. Mulgrew may not be the best defender at the club, mainly because he is not a defender by trade, but he has stepped into the role this season with both feet. His partnership with either Downing or Lennon has been solid this season, with Mulgrew acting more as a sweeper than a running centre-back. His set pieces, be it free kicks or corners, have defenders and the keepers quaking in their boots, and the numbers don't lie. Amongst his goals, Mulgrew has had the special moment of scoring the goal that sealed promotion back to the championship, and will always be remembered in my eyes as a true leader and a future legend of the club. Next season will be an interesting one for Mulgrew and Rovers. I doubt he'll leave this off-season, but I'm curious as to where he'll fit in. Will Rovers offer some new centre-backs, which will push Mulgrew back into his preferred midfield, or will they stick with the skipper at the back? Either way, I'm sure he'll feature, as he makes a great captain and one of the first names on the team sheet. My season rating for the skipper is a modest A-. So, let's take a look at Charlie Mulgrew's statistics for this season. All in all, Charlie Mulgrew was involved in 50 matches this season, scoring 14 goals, creating 4 assists, and has involved in 17 clean sheets. Uh, he averaged... Well, basically, he let in 43 goals whenever the, whenever he was involved in first-team action, which equals around about 0.86 goals per match. And that also translates to about 101 minutes per... Every 101 minutes, they were to let in a goal. He's also involved in 97% of all first-team football for Blackburn Rovers. He was actually substituted off three times and brought on the once. As for yellow cards, the chap picked only up five yellow cards this season. That's not too bad. As for League One only, Charlie Mulgrew was involved in 41 games this season. 25 of those were wins, 11 were draws, 5 were defeats. And in those 41 matches, he actually scored 14 goals, which averages around about 0.34 goals per game. All in all, he was involved in 3,615 minutes of first-team football. And his last five results looked like this. Three wins, a defeat, and a draw. So he was involved in that Charlton game. He's actually uh, suffered one defeat in the previous 31 games. Uh, in fact, when you break that down, stupid statistic this. One loss out of two games. Uh, he actually went on two games uh, without scoring a goal. Um, maybe that's back-to-back. -back. Uh, he actually scored 27% of all games that he played in and he actually went on a seven game winning streak for Blackburn Rovers. Uh, he was actually involved in a two game streak without a win and a two game losing streak and he was also involved in a 29 game uh, run which did not have a single defeat within that 29 game cluster. He actually scored uh, in four games back to back to back to back uh, but he also went on an 11 game run without scoring a goal and let's take a look at that back to back to back to back. Here it is right here. He actually scored five goals in, uh, in four games, two against Oxford, uh, Bristol Rovers, Blackpool, and Peterborough. But they had a little gap there, and he had another one against Rochdale. So nice, nice good cluster of form here for Charlie Mulgrew this season. Well, that's a lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.